after fitting that other small piece in the bottom it's now made up of three pieces that will be able to be transferred onto a sheet of plywood and cut to shape. We now have a cardboard template in one piece made up from the four or five small pieces to take the shape of the boat. Now this can be duplicated throughout the boat for any other section that is a watertight compartment or requires a bulkhead and uh, I believe it's the simplest way of doing it and uh, that will allow you to move on to other projects then. So it hasn't been put on, but you can see if it's pulled up like such, or if it rotates down, you can change the angle of the centreboard so that sailing off a wind you can pull it right up. You can adjust it to reach higher into the wind. If the conditions suit the sailing you're doing or the way you're going with the boat. So we'll just move on now and I'll be able to uh, finish off this centre case. That's the way it pivots. Here we have on the table the middle seat which includes uh, the little round seat for rowing and the centre case or fin box with the fin. I'll just demonstrate by pulling the uh, a cord that will show how this little pivoted shark type fin works. We'll see a little bit more now as I start to assemble these in the boat. Here we have this little boat with the uh, front deck and the forward bulkhead. You'll notice the vertical down the centre of that bulkhead. You'll see when the fin box goes in how that uh, centres the fin box. And of course there's the hole where the fin box is going to be. Uh, set up and uh, there's the rear seat sitting just waiting to be uh, all put together so we'll see a little bit more of this the Rolex which uh, easily moved and they will fit into little watertight compartments in the seat so that when you're sailing they're not hindering you or in the way so now we'll attempt to put the uh, the centreboard the fin case in it I've just put together two little storage compartments that are underneath the middle seat. The middle seat there is upside down while I'm working on these little storage compartments. They will have, um, they will be watertight and they will have uh, round circular hatches. And it's an area where you can put your keys, Rolex, bungs. You'll also notice that I fitted a little Venturi. It's a simple little elbow. You can see the black bung there. It's a far cheaper option than some of the professional ones. It'll do the job just as well. Here we have the joining of the extension to the bottom or half one half of the bottom of a new boat being developed the point I'm making here is that when they're joined together there may very well be uh, a point where one small portion is a little bit wider where it, than it should be and you'll notice here I've just drawn a line to fare that in then you can just cut off that excess bit run your eye along it to get a nice fair line and that is joining the bottom of the new 11 foot dinghy this is being made out of MDF as a, a pattern to make sure I get it right but the principle is the same when you're putting your kit together. Every attempt is made to 
have the parts exactly right but the final finishing of any boat is to the builder and little bits might have to be fared in and adjusted here and there but I make every attempt to have everything just right for you there we are I've just cut that little bit off that was offending the the shape of the boat and then you can just uh, step back and run your eye along to see that it has a nice fair shape and if there's any little irregularities just tidy it up so that as you look along your boat you will see that it the sides will join that quite nicely now this is just MDF this is patterns for a new boat the 11 foot dinghy having trimmed the joints lay both sides in this case the bottom and also both sides of the sides together to make sure that they are totally matching there may be a little piece as you can see here that can be just sawn or planed off now apart from that little rise in the stern and the curve to bring your rise in the bow section the keel is pretty straight but as you can see here there's just a touch to go off to make each matching piece the same as his mate in this case I have both sides of the bottom and I now will be drilling and placing the stitches this happens to be just MDF for a, a mould for the 11 foot shark dinghy to make life a little easier I have put an upper support that can be removed in the boat stand that is supplied with the plans and this at this stage I haven't had to use the mould, the framing moulds, the jig so we'll see how this goes but at least you can see here it is just the um, two bottom halves stitched together using uh, MDF material it's not meant to be a boat this is a this is a, a mold for the new 11 foot shark dinghy um, but this was quite an easy thing i just added that extra uh, floor above uh, what had been uh, in the plans prior to this